Staff of Bundung Maternal and Child Health Hospital are demanding the unconditional return of Keba Mane, the chief executive officer of the hospital, who was recently transferred to Buyam General Hospital. At a press conference held at the health facility in Bundung on Tuesday, 5th April 2022, the staff expressed concerns over the transfer of Mr. Mane, who served as the hospital's CEO for nearly two decades. Senior Public Relations Officer Omar Sise said the transfer of the CEO will have a huge negative impact on the service delivery in the hospital, adding that Mr. Mane had to work greatly in the transformation of the hospital. On the 21st of February 2022, the Chief Executive Officer of Bundu Maternal and Child Health Hospital received a, re a redeployment letter to Bayam General Hospital from the Secretary to the Permanent Secretary of Ministry of Health via WhatsApp. Since the news broke out, a task force of head of units and departments was formed with the sole aim of engaging the Minister of Health to reconsider his decision and to let the staff continue working with the CEO to continue delivering quality healthcare services to women and children of the Gambia. On the 25th of February 2022, the task force wrote a letter to the Permanent Secretary of Ministry of Health titled appealed in respect of Mr. Mane's redeployment. Whilst waiting for a reply from Ministry of Health, the senior management team, led by Deputy Chief Executive Officer, met the Honorable Minister of Health, Dr. Samate, for a dialogue regarding his decision and appeal for him to rescind the decision. Fatou Matanyalin Sedikan, a retired health worker at the Pundum Maternal and Child Health Gas Hospital, explained the contribution of Mr. Mane to the development of the health facility. In 2016, I retired. I was retired. I was retired. I was I was retired. I was retired. Logistique Amantara kula ya nama nke ni lopitano. Ni lopitano ni aja dunia beka na ajang. Kule beja. Membete yati. Ni mkuu kendo te ya mwote na ajang. Ote kebama ne la do kuo. Alabu la ya alabang. Abe do kuo mena ama ke mwe, ama ka kumwe. Aka ke bankole. Awa jasi, a patient at the hospital has this to say. Keba tramfa bi dunyo ne trop, dunyo ne hede. Da lopita bi topotono kutrop. Seku Sonko, a resident of Sukuda who has been accompanying his wife to the hospital, said the transfer of Keba to Buyam was not a good decision, adding that Keba has been instrumental in the hospital. Because they have a protocol that uh, anyone who comes with the husband, they will give them privilege. They will be forced attended. And Gambia, I have never seen that one in any hospital here. I have been going to other hospitals before coming here. I was, here was recommended by me, by one of my friends. And when I started here up till today, I am impressed with their service, their cordial relationship they have with their patients and uh, uh, nurses, the way they perform, the way they sensitize people before even attending them, telling them what they do, what they do, they don't, they don't need to do. It's superb. It's one, it's one in town. They will be sensitizing, they will be talking to you, they will be asking you questions, they will be telling you this is what you need to do. And Keba himself with his position, if it is some people, some Gambians, they will not, patient will not see him. The transfer of Mr. Keba to Buyam General Hospital has been frowned at by staff and patients who describe him as a hard-working, generous and dedicated man 
and therefore demand his unconditional return. Reporting for the Fatih Network, I am Dawda Balde.